Wonder how my life has changed. Wonder how your love it came to me. When I look into the sky above, I know my fears so far away. And all I feel is heaven. This is Pastor Doug McKinnis. Yeah, hello, my name is Frank Chula Vista. This is Pastor Jason Neville. This is uh, Pastor Mondo. Hi, my name is Adam Friedrich. And this is Pastor Ronnie Chavez. I'm Pastor Larry Neville, and uh, I am so excited to be here at the last night of this youth conference. We're having a good time. Man, the food's kind of high, so we got to take it elsewhere, but you know, but man, it's about 110 degrees out here, but the conference inside is even hotter than that, man, because it, everything is hot, from the music to the messages. There's so much that goes on here that you can't, exp I can't express it with words. I can't tell you, I mean, just the music, the worship, the videos, uh, the dramas, the dance. This is a place where these kids were able to, to get ministered to, but more than anything, accepted for who they were and what God was doing inside of their life. This was something that was bursting in my heart for a long time and a number of years ago we started having a youth conference during our world conference because these conferences are so critical to our fellowship. A conference like this is so vital that you bring your young people to it, man, because they will just be revolutionized by the power of God. With teenagers, they have so much purpose and destiny that God has put into their lives. And my heart is to see this next generation of young people and teenagers challenged like they never have been before. This conference has brought it to another level. They get united with other youth in worship. Both in, in, in the young people coming together. They see that their kids going through the same things that they go through and that they are not alone, that we are all surrounded by each other. To let them go and just let God do what He's going to do. I mean, everything that goes on here is all benefiting to the kingdom. From what I can tell you so far at this conference, lives are getting revolutionized and touched by the power of God. I would recommend that every teenager that can attend these conferences, going to be going every year now, the Praise Chapel Young Adult Youth Conferences. God is imparting something really powerful in these kids. As leaders here, as pastors, we want to see our young people become the best they can possibly be. And the only way that's going to happen is by getting to these conferences where they can find their destiny in Christ. It is worth the investment, man. Surrounded to me basically just means that it's it's all around you. There's no separation between you and whatever you're surrounded by. Having nowhere to escape. To be uh, around, like something, like a presence. Something totally around you to where you can't go anywhere or do anything. The Spirit's always going to be around you. He'll never leave you. Just boxed in, not be able to escape. That you're not alone. Not wanting to escape. To be in the presence of something. Just being surrounded by God. It's just everywhere. I'm surrounded by so many things that are blinding me, but now I know what it really means that it is the things that are around me, the media, all this other drama, but I know that deep inside, in the middle of the core, it is God. I really don't know. I'm not feeling on a science guy or anything, but I think that's pretty close. From this conference, I just expect like to get to next level with God. I expect to just get a new, fresh vision from God. I just want to get surrounded by the presence. Just hear His word. Get more filled with God. I really want to get touched by the Lord. I come here basically just to hear from God. To come and to leave with a changed heart. I came to conference. This is my first time at this conference, and um, it's a truly, it's a blessing, you know, to be with with my church, and um, you know, it's a it's a blessing to see how many youth are just stirred up and on fire, and um, you know, I. I I pray and I fast that 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 it, 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 it's, there's no limits. For the last two days, that there is something surrounding us that wants to come in and destroy our lives and destroy our future. You've been taught that you are filled with a with a spirit of power. You've been filled with a spirit of love and self-control. You've been taught that. Yet most of you tonight fear rejection. See, only you have the ability, friend, to release your future and destiny.
did a lot of reading because like when I first came I didn't really like connect with you or however you want to say it but like when you came like the first thing you notice is like the bond that everybody has here. It showed me a little bit of everything new that I really needed to know at this time. He's always going to be there for you, you don't need to worry it's about It's awesome, God's moving, he's changing, he's bringing freedom. He showed me that I have uh, potential. It did such a tremendous thing in my life. It's really awesome to realize that even though there's just people out there who like they're your age and they believe in God, they have the same beliefs you do and they're there to care for you. This is my first year coming and I'm, I'm like, whoa. Before I came to the conference, I didn't believe that God could do all this stuff to me that has happened. I know that I could pour out everything to God. I didn't think that I can feel this way about myself. I've just been like totally in awe of Him. And then I came here and now I know what God can do with people. This was like more of a growing kind of conference. So far conference has changed a lot of the what of what I think about. The whole weekend you just totally are able to focus on God. I feel that I've I got fed. Conference to me is a very, very important event and mainly because it's the biggest time of the year that we pump up all the kids to start something new and start something fresh and every year we've gone to conference it's been a total revelation for all the kids that we bring and um, for this conference my prayer was that just all the kids would find a totally fresh anointing those that hadn't even had a touch from God that they would just totally see God for themselves and not their parents God but their God for the first time and um, We've really been seeing that this week and we're really excited to go back and see all the new changes that are going to happen with our kids. It was a time for growth and a time for finally realizing that we are surrounded. We are surrounded by sin, we are surrounded by the things of this world, but more importantly, we are surrounded by those that have gone before us, the heroes of the faith. We are surrounded by friends and by family members that have gone up before us. And they're looking down on us and they're saying, for the, they're saying you can make it one more day, one more step. All it takes is just making it one more day.